Important, this critter profile is horrifically gruesome. Reading this profile might be disturbing to some due to Zogoth, Destroyer of Dimensions' ability to get in your head. As far as we can tell, these effects are mind-destroying and short-lasting, so unlikely a lot to worry about. But if you're worried to have even a modicum of your brain shared with a intruder, I recommend caution. Fairwin Wilson Do you wish to proceed? Feel free to close the document if you feel uncomfortable. Product Profile Sargoth Destroyer of Dimensions Name Sargoth Title Destroyer of Dimensions Species Ten Civilians God Among Men Tiny Caretaker Avian Team Casey Baker Diet The Blood of the Innocents The Blood of the Innocents The Blood of the Innocents you would be an Asgard Tearetaker, Casey. Host, Avian Enclosure 2. Creature Features, Zogoth, Destroyer of Worlds. It's a name for a little demonic snow goose. He's very, very not adorable, but he seems agitated when I keep bringing it up. As you can see, Zogoth here has an ability to correct information about himself. Whether it be in text or it, whether it be in text form or even in your mind. For example, one of the most striking things you'll notice when first meeting at Sargoth is that you'll know his name upon seeing him, even if you have been, been introduced before. Sargoth tends to use this ability to prune the more big aspects of his personality. Thankfully, the effects is invaluable and makes clear the terrifying power that searches through Sargoth's entire being. So we can still see him for what he is and treat him with respect. Sargoth tends to be extremely hostile. And if you're not careful or not wearing the right gear when handling him, he'll take every opportunity to go for the eyes. I almost lost a finger. We first had to install some new security measures into Avian Enclosure 2 because with my lawless light of hand, I can steal any key from right under your noses. You imbeciles tried to keep me caged, but I will escape from this prison. History We found Sarkoth over by the beach, where there were reports of a murderer stalking his prey. Needless to say, our team rushed over the pretty fast when they found Sargoth here, roaring at a family. We managed to capture him, but not without a few fatal injuries. After getting him into a cage, we were going to start the van when we couldn't find the key. Somehow, Sargoth had gotten a hold of it. After wrangling away, we managed to get him back to the shelter where we put him in avian enclosure too. You can probably guess what happened next. Sargoth went on a secret stealth. <laughs> Sargoth went on a secret stealth mission after stealing a key from a clumsy guard. I ran, dropped out of a vent, and was surrounded, but managed to retrieve my sword, brandishing it towards the wretched kidnappers. I stepped out of the prison, only to be captured yet again with a magical net. Luckily, the knife was plastic and couldn't cut through it, so we caught him back in his enclosure pretty quickly. Special needs and accommodations. Sarkoth is pretty hostile with any other critters, so he got Avian Enclosure 2 to himself. He usually spends time in his secret lair, where he likes to dive from the water. I'm not sure why. Because he's so sneaky, the door to Avian Enclosure 2 has three locks, which have so far been able to keep him wrongfully imprisoned. When keys go missing, he simply switch out the locks. However, due to him taking up a whole enclosure just for himself, and because he's very capable of causing any real damage to the local ecosystem, he's likely going to be let out very soon with future witchcraft to spy on him in case he 
Promises villages and terrorizes the countryside. A wasteland of widows, widowers, and orphans left in this wick. But we think that's very likely. Note about Sargoth. We've been trying to put things in this section for the past thousand years. But Sargoth has hunted you at every turn. If you need details on his ultra's doings, come talk to me. Casey Baker, eater of feces, or another one of Sorgoth's captors. Sorgoth's release and return. While we love Sorgoth, we quickly realized that keeping only him in his secret lair was unsustainable. As seasons turned to fall and more and more presents were being taken in and we simply couldn't keep up, we needed space. So, since Sargoth had a relatively high chance of him burning villagers and sorting fields, we freed him near the beach we discovered him at. We kept an eye on our reports for any dementia destroyers consuming worlds, and so many came. I was getting ready to close his file for good, but then he came back, just appeared in the old enclosure just a few days before we were going to introduce some telepathic ducks into it, and I have no clue why. Perhaps it was because... Because I have realized now why you have kept me here for eons. You are not imprisoning me, but worshipping me as an idol. The gods have grown old and foolish, and only talk of migrating and child-wearing. But all of you have much greater desires. Worship me and bring me followers of my own kind, and we shall rule. He's editing this right now, isn't he? Sargoth's followers! Upon reviewing this file and seeing Sargoth's edits, we have put together some candidates for worthy associates, priests, and servants of my religion, including those telepathic ducks I mentioned before. In response to Sorgoth's want for servitude, I'm feeling very hopeful. He hasn't roared at any of the other birds we introduced to Avian Enclosure too. In fact, he's actually taking shine to a Canadian goose in particular, Autumn. I think that with conquering season approaching, he may be interested in her as more than just a disciple. And Sargoth is a singular being with no need for petty mortal trappings such as affection and love or the consensual unbring of bills. Though uh, these things must be sometimes be vain to keep the disciples subservient. Any misinterpretations of Sargoth's actions or only indications of the people malleable minds of the observers. Either way, things are looking up. I think he finally doesn't have to be alone.